Hello Internet! Welcome to our channel! Now we are goat herder! We need to bring those four goats to our home. It's a 30 minutes walk and I can tell you they push more the dog. Elle suive, elle suive Tommy. Hein. <laughs> Basically what just happened, Tommy was running, the four goats were running and we were, we were holding the goats and I got Susie's milk in my eyes because she was running behind me, uh, in front of me. I present to you Suzy. Look, it's amazing. It's toxic, but they can eat it without any issue. This is Keeper, the male. This is Ramza, la doyenne, like the eldest uh, goat. And this is Titin. And because it's not warm or sunny enough, we have Leon with us. When it's cloudy like that, the terrarium can collect heat from the sun. This is the place we are going to arrange so that we can move in. And we're using the goat for e-lagging. And of course, it wouldn't be really nice if we didn't help. So, as you can see, the rain is going to pour for the next few days again. And because of that, we can't charge the battery because the solar panel doesn't detect any sun. So we keep our phone charged for emergency and to stay in contact with our family, for example. But we don't have the spare power to do vlog for now. But in a nutshell, the last few days were the battery died because we forgot to turn it off during the night, so it was empty when we woke up. We discussed more with one of the person that was originally here, and we ended up disagreeing on pretty much everything. And this person may or may not uh, purchase the land we are currently on. And if he does, then he could uh, evict us. It's quite stressful because after two weeks of being here, we already have issue with electricity, have issue with someone else than uh, the two of us, and uh, we, we, we just arrived. It was already hard to move in just two days all of our stuff in the wild. And now, uh, Maybe in one or two years from now, we may or may not be evict. And the most infuriating part is they want to keep the place an open place, but they want to evict everyone that's not family to them. Norbert and us are really attached to the fact that this place is supposed to be an open place. So we'll see how the situation will evolve in the next few months. Look at that! Lily is enjoying the rain! while Joanna is eating some of our leftovers from yesterday. Look how nice they are. There is no better bathing option than directly pouring rain. And because it's raining, now they have basins filled with rain water. The plants look healthier under the rain. What are you doing? Enjoying honey. Speaking of honey, we found bees on top of the hill where we are going to live. And honey is an amazing thing to eat. Because it contains a lot of sugar, you can make a lot of things out of honey. It's great for healing some type of wounds. And it's almost impossible to make it perish because it contains a lot of sugar. Do you want to see the goats? And this is the goat enclosure. Here is where we keep them safe from the rain. This is Skipper. Hello Skipper. And the other three are here. This is our technique to not lose a goat. Because Susie really likes to follow us. And Skipper is kind of a, an, a, asshole. an asshole, yeah. We tie them together. This way Skipper follows up with us and Susie. Susie! Always the first! If we, don't, if we don't attach them together, this is what happens. And the more exciting is, we have four goats, but you only see three here. We are letting them eat in the bed of a river that's usually dry. But because it's raining, as you can see, it's kind of filling up with water. And Tommy still needs to learn to be a herd dog. Do you know what an earth bomb is? Okay, so I don't know if you know this, 
but clay is a great material for plants because it can hold a lot of humidity and water inside of it while allowing the roots to easily plant themselves. And I don't know if you noticed, but in most cities, we don't tend to plant stuff that we could eat, which is pretty dumb. Because, for example, let's say that for some reason, a female version of a tree that produces a lot of flower and a lot of pollen was planted near female ones, then you will have fruit inside of cities. But even without going as far as planting a tree, we could just take a ball of dirt made of clay, put a seed or a few seeds inside of it and throw it anywhere and it could produce a plant. And even if it doesn't germinate and become a full-fledged plant, it will still decompose and create dirt, hence completing the beautiful cycle of life. Look, wild goats. Um, With a natural wild dog that is protecting them. This is the symbiosis between animals. I am with a specialist. This is Azrod Buzanval. Hello, I am apparently Azrod Buzanval. And I am, of course, an expert between the symbiosis of wild dogs and wild goats that... You can trust me, I'm a doctor. And of course, this is their natural environment. A, a dry but wet riverbed. And right now, they're eating plants. For each leaf, the plant screams. Jokes aside, it's absolutely amazing because there is a wild herb that's really toxic for humans. I forgot the name. All over the hills. And the goats love to eat them. And now we are the goats that needs to be attached to each other to not lose each other. <laughs> right now we're witnessing the river starting to fill up and this is the road. So to not get stuck on the wrong side, we're taking the goats back uh, behind the water. But now we are sure we won't have an issue with water for a while. There is so much water, look at that. It was literally coming just right now. <laughs> I think it's the first time they saw this much water. Yeah, I think it's the first time they get to take a bath in a, a, a natural river. So this is no more a dry riverbed. It's a literal river. But don't worry, we didn't have a car anyway. Bravo Tommy! Coucou Zizi! Allez, Ranza! Allez, Ranza! Allez, tu vas y arriver Ranza, tu vas y arriver ah, ouais. Bravo Ranza This is la doyenne La doyenne of the goat Ranza. It's really impressive to see a river fill up. Je peux croire en toi Tommy. Pas voir ce qu'il peut. Et de revenir. Tommy really needs to learn how to be a guard, uh, a herd dog, not a guard dog. He knows how to be a guard dog because he's barking a lot on anyone that doesn't feel like us. But it doesn't help because the people that didn't like us hate us a lot more because the dog is scary to them. Ranza, the best one! Allez, Ranza! Always Ranza, the last goat. Tommy is super excited, so he's going around a lot. But the goats are trained to follow a dog. So the ghosts follow Tommy around and it's really hard to keep up because Tommy doesn't always come back when we call them. We were worried that Ranza had disappeared because you know, Ranza. But she just came back home to safety. The other ghosts want to herd in too. Skipper is wandering and I think Susie decided to come back out. When she was done eating, she just went home without telling anyone. That's Ranza for you. Look at that. He stands taller than me. Comes look like a wet dog. Casually using the legs to reach leaves. 
Titin is the second to go home. Susie just followed up. Now let's milk Susie. And now here is how we milk a goat. The only goat that's currently giving milk is Susie, the Rov. And she's really feisty. That's why we tie her neck and horn because otherwise she will move a lot. Additionally, I am on top of them and I use my leg to avoid them moving sideways. And lastly, Piu Piu is milking them. So if you ever wonder how to milk a goat by hand, now you have your answer. So currently we only have one goat that produces milk, but once the three of them will produce milk, we could easily have the animal protein for the dog. Susie is a rav. She doesn't produce that much milk, but we still managed to get this quantity out of her today. Actually, it's not today. It's like today and the past few days. As well is checking if there is some left. <laughs> Susie doesn't like the dogs, but right now she can't do anything. Oh, Gump! Everyone is grumpy because it's raining. That's amazing. Goats are just like dogs. They follow you anyway. Look at that! Skipper is a bit of an issue, but Susie is definitely dog-like. So, the dog are eating a mix of rice, vegetables, uh, lentils, and some dog food. Same meal as our dog, aside from a big chunk of old meat that they can crush with their teeth. And this is what we're gonna eat tonight. Because it's raining and uh, we're tired and we don't really want to uh, make a fire, we're eating cold, but it's really good. Love you and appreciate you. See you. Bye.